Hey, welcome to Pixel Pixel. I'm Decoy. I got several new mods for you. Now, to start off, all these structures that you'll see on this half are from the Snap and Build mod, with the exception of the giant tower. And the insides are decorated with uh, stuff from the Decorations and Furniture expansion mod. Or at least for the most part, they are. Of course, at the end of each one, it usually says DFEP, which is nice. It helps me uh, know where I got it from in case I ever want to make more of them. But what's cool about DFEP is they also have nice little trees. You get the flagpole, all, all sorts of new containers. I also believe that's where I got that uh, water tower from. I could be mistaken. Of course, then you also get the new option of planting some hub flowers, which is pretty cool. But the greenhouse and that kind of stuff did come from the Snap and Build mod. And another neat thing I got was a dynamic object, which is really huge on my list. I love me some dynamic objects. I want crap to move. And a couple more little things. All sorts of new beds, and this right here is what you configure the snap and build uh, mod with, or you can. I believe you can also do it through your Pip Boy if you want to. Not really going to go into that though. But we got all sorts of cool beds. We even got finally a nice big bed. Because I mean, bounce go wow wow. Can't be doing that on a little tiny bed. We need that big bed. And then over here we got the uh, the capsule house or whatever you want to call it. And I just threw a bunch of chairs in here from DFEP. Figured it's the best use of space. Of course there's the uh, grass, or not grass, little bush. Another cool thing uh, from the DFEP was uh, these little planters. If I remember right they were, they produced two food apiece. Now this next one, that bobblehead up there, it's from the uh, Giant Craftable Bobbleheads mod, which is pretty freaking cool. And they got all the different bobbleheads just blown up, which makes them some pretty cool statues to have around. <clears throat> the, uh, the only thing that kind of sucks about these is they don't have a contact response, which I'll show that here in a second. After I get done showing them all off. But really, I'm not too worried about them not having a contact response. I think they look really good on top of buildings. To kind of show what that building is. Like, put, put the one with the minigun on top of uh, a building that you put your gun shop in. Then up here we got another little thing. Not 100% certain what that just did. <clears throat> but right here... We have three vending machines, but these are not normal vending machines. These are from the functional vending machine mod. And there you go. Just got me a crap ton of them. And because those are all triggering, I don't even want to touch the Nuka-Cola. <clears throat> now, what it does is it produces one soda basically every minute, or one bottle drink every minute, until the vending machine hits its maximum of 20. Moving on, this is a functional washing machine from the functional washer mod. And what this does is it lets you turn your dirty clothes into clean clothes. Because I'm sure me, like many other people, get sick and tired of finding dirty variants of clothes and we want the clean version. So this gives you the option to go wash yourself some clothes. Get you some clean clothes. Quit being such a nasty, stinky bastard. Clean up a little. Just because we're living in the apocalypse don't mean you can't, you know, tidy up a little bit. But, alright. Here in a second, I'm going to go ahead and swap to another clip and show off a different mod. All right, I'm back, and this is the Don't Call Me Settler mod, which did something really cool 
you finally get a name you I didn't get a name in but it automatically names your settlers and it also puts their job title under their name it does a bunch of other stuff as well <clears throat> but I really enjoyed the fact that my, my settlers now have freaking names instead of just being settler helps add to the realism I, I, I'm actually kind of surprised that this wasn't something that was already in the game originally it's also added like roughly 200 new ones uh, new looks for settlers all sorts of cool stuff here we go I'll pop in the hollow tape and we'll show off uh, a little bit of the options in here I'm not really gonna activate any of them but I'll show them off for you I just remembered I forgot to mention that uh, those bobblehead statues the ones I could walk through actually add a small amount of happiness to your settlement which is pretty neat Oops, I did not mean to back out of that. So that's really cool. You get the option to uh, basically make your settlers invincible so you don't have to worry about them dying ever. Here you get the option to change the uh, basically the sex ratio of new settlers. Increase the spawn rate of your new settlers or just get rid of the, them showing up at all. And as I flip through these, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say that I really like the fact that all these mods seem to work just fine with the previous mods that I showed off. So if you're, you download some of the other mods that I showed in the past video and you like some of these, you shouldn't have any problems uh, running both of them at the same time. Or all of them at the same time. But there you have it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And please let me know if you'd like to see any other mods. Later.